Mabuhay and welcome to our class in Earth and Life Science. I am your Sir Kennedy and I'm hoping you are 100% ready for our discussion. Unifying themes in the study of life. We live in one environment where humans and animals are interrelated. The unifying themes of life give us an idea of how each of these themes contributes to the connection and interaction of living organisms and their environment. Before we proceed with our discussion, let us first look upon the most essential learning competency for our topic. Describe how unifying themes like structure and function, evolution and ecosystems in the study of life show the connections among living things and how they interact with each other and with their environment. We hope that right after this video, you have already acquired the necessary competency needed. So let us proceed with our discussion. Earth is the home of organisms including animals, plants, and microorganisms. They are found in the different parts of the planet. The ecosystems include living organisms, which are the biotic factors, like animals, plants, insects, and bacteria, as well as the non-living components, which are also known as abiotic factors, like the rock, soil, water, and sunlight. Non-living things are classified as inanimate objects that may influence, alter, or impact the life of biotic factors. These abiotic factors are essential to biotic factors in different ways. Unifying Themes of Life The unifying themes connects the different subdisciplines that make biology as a science. In addition to, the living organisms differ from non-living organisms in various aspects. What are these shared properties of living organisms that make something alive? This includes now, the first one, biological systems, followed by structure and functions, regulation, as well as adaptation and evolution. It also includes heredity, reproduction, interaction and interdependence, it also includes energy and life, as well as scientific inquiry and science, technology, and society. So let us discuss them one by one for a better understanding. The first one is, all levels of life have systems of related parts or the biological systems. A system is an organized group of interacting parts. A cell is a system of chemicals and processes. It is the basic unit of life. A body system includes organs that interact. An ecosystem includes living and non-living things that interact. Let us take the human body as an example. As you can see in the illustration, these are some of the systems that comprises the human body. There is the respiratory system, the immune system, the reproductive system, the nervous system, the cardiovascular system, as well as the digestive system, among other systems of the body. A system consists of related parts that interact with each other to form a whole. It has different parts, but each plays a significant role for the whole to function as one. Without the help from each other, it cannot fully perform its function. The second unifying theme in the study of life is that structure and functions are related in biology. Structure determines function. The structure is the shape of the object, as well as the function is the object's specific rule. The function of an organism or a part of an organism 
greatly depends on its form and structure. It is related to how it works. An example of this is the web food of the duck which helps the duck swim and search for their food underwater. Other birds have different structures of feet used for perching and grasping food. The third unifying theme in the study of life is that organisms must maintain homeostasis to survive in diverse environments or simply as regulation. Homeostasis is the maintenance of constant internal conditions. All living organisms must live in a stable environment. The different organ systems help control the internal environment and maintain normal processes such as heart rate, body temperature, and fluid environment of cells. Organisms maintain a balanced internal environment within the limits that sustain life. When it is warm, skin pores open to release sweat as the body's way to cool down. When it is cold, skin pores close to conserve heat. Although different organ systems perform individualized functions, they work together to achieve a coordinated goal and that is to keep the organism alive. Evolution explains the unity and diversity of life, or simply as adaptation and evolution. Evolution is the change in living things over time. The genetic makeup of a population of a species changes. For living things to survive and perform normal functions, the ability to adapt to changes in the environment is a must. Organisms change over time to acclimate to their environment to survive. If they fail to adapt to the changes, they usually become extinct. The Baiji white dolphin, for example, became extinct due to diminished food supply and in addition to that, the population caused by human activities. The fifth unifying theme in the study of life is that traits are being inherited and transferred or simply as the heredity. The continuity of life depends on the inheritance of biological information in the form of DNA molecules. The genetic information is encoded in the nucleotide sequences of the DNA. DNA unifies the diverse forms of living organisms. All living organisms possess a unique inheritable genetic material inside their cells. In essence, DNA is the molecule similar to all living organisms and the same molecule responsible for differences, thus bringing unity amidst diversity. The sixth one is organisms reproduce or they undergo the process of reproduction. It is necessary part of living, process of making more of one's own kind. Reproduction ensures the survival of species. All living organisms reproduce either through asexual or sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is a mode of reproduction that occurs without the fusion of the meats and doesn't involve the exchange of genetic information, resulting in offsprings identical to their parents. Examples of these are earthworms, hydra, planaria, and bacteria. On the other hand, sexual reproduction is a mode of reproduction involving a complex life cycle where the formation of new organisms occurs by the combination of genetic information from two different individuals of two different types or sexes, generally the male and the female. Example of these are fishes, mammals, and reptiles. Organisms are interdependent with one another for interaction and interdependence. 
Organisms have evolved to live and interact with other organisms. Ecology deals with the interactions of living organisms with one another and their environment. All organisms in an ecosystem depend upon each other. If the population of one organism rises or falls, then this can affect the rest of the ecosystem. Biological organization is the hierarchy of complex biological structures and systems that define life using a reductionistic approach in order to see the interaction and interdependence of one organism to another and to its environment as a whole. The traditional hierarchy as detailed in the illustration extends from atoms to the biosphere. Another unifying theme in the study of life is that organisms acquire and process energy. Living organisms use a source of energy for their metabolic activities. Some living organisms capture the light energy and convert it into chemical energy in food. Some living organisms use chemical energy stored in molecules obtained from food. All living organisms need energy to grow and reproduce, maintain their structures, and respond to their environments. Metabolism is the set of life sustaining chemical processes that enables organisms to transform the chemical energy stored in molecules into energy that can be used for cellular processes. Most energy comes from the sun, either directly or indirectly. Most life forms on Earth get their energy from the sun. Plants use photosynthesis to capture sunlight and herbivores eat those plants to obtain energy. While on the other hand, carnivores eat the herbivores and the composers digest plant and animal matter. Another unifying theme in the study of life is scientific inquiry. The process of science includes observation-based discovery and the testing of explanations through the hypothetic deductive. We usually use the scientific method in conducting scientific inquiry or experiments. Scientific credibility depends on the repeatability of observation and experiments. And the last one is science, technology, and society. Many technologies are goal-oriented applications of science. The relationships of science and technology to society are now more crucial to understand than ever before. Now that you have already acquired knowledge about the unifying themes in the study of life, I believe you are now ready for an activity. Our activity is entitled as Name It, and what you are going to do is Name the unifying theme based on the given illustration. Choose your answer from words inside the box. You are given 5 seconds to answer every item. For item number 1, what is depicted in the picture? For item number 2, what is depicted in the picture? For the third item, what is your answer? For the fourth item, what is also your answer? Last item, what do you think is being depicted in the illustration? Let's check your answers. See to it that you exercise the policy of honesty when checking your answers. 
let us see if you've got the correct answers. For number one, what is being depicted in the picture is cell. For number two, the depicted picture is evolution. And for number three, the answer is interaction with the environment. And for number four, the answer is form and function. For the last item, the answer is energy and life. So I hope you perfected our short activity for you to say that you really understand our discussion. For more activities, exercises, and assessment, you may answer other activities, exercises, as well as the assessment that are included in your module, or answer the prepared activities, the test, or performance task given by your teacher. Guests, yes, time to say goodbye for now, my dear learners. See you next time for more discussions on Earth and Life and Science. Once again, this is your Sir Kennedy, always reminding you, stay healthy and stay safe.